Hello, and welcome to part one of how to design a CNC cut quad capture frame. My name is John and I will be instructing this series. This is part of a multi-series tutorial covering different aspects of frame design and production through CNC cutting and 3D printing. For our first topic, I would like to cover a bit about myself and how I got into designing frame. Okay, so for the first part, I just want to cover a little bit about myself and how I got into designing frames. I designed my first frame about a year and a half ago when the market was very small. Um, you had the either the QAV 250, which was out of my price range, or the Blackout 250, which was really out of my price range. So I decided to say, hey, you know, I really don't like the styles of the 250, and I really don't like the styles of the uh, Blackout. So I decided to design my own with a um, with my own properties and my own specifications, and I feel that it turned out pretty well. Um, now, the first version of that frame accidentally broke in a little bit of an accident, um, trying to do some flips, which we're, we're, we're going to cover how to, how to avoid having stuff break on you. So I designed a second version, which you should be seeing the pictures of that right now. And that incorporated a couple more features that I wanted, such as folding arms for better transport and also using a thicker carbon compound. Now this leads me on to my second topic, which is why would you want to design or build a custom CNC cut mini quad frame? Well, I think I outlined a couple of the um, reasons in my, and why that I designed mine. And the first one is, is going to be price. Now that the market has become more developed and has matured a little bit, you can get frames for around the $60 mark that are gonna be CNC cut and carbon fiber. So really that kind of rules out price right now. Now the, the second reason may be that maybe you don't like the look of any of the frames and you, you want to be unique and you want to have something and you want to be, you know, be able to challenge yourself and to be able to say, Hey, you know, I made this. And for me personally, being able to see, you know, something that you build up in the air is great, but to be able to see something that you designed up in the air and to really be able to see, Hey, you know, I designed this. I went through all the time and the effort to make this specific frame and have it, cut out by somebody, have it handmade, you know, it's, it's really it makes it more, more of an art piece, which is going to lead me on to my, to my third point, which is that you're not going to fly this that much. I mean, unless, you know, you build it with four millimeter carbon and you really don't care about it that much. It becomes more of a connection to you because you went through the time and the labor to have it handmade and design it. So I just wanted to put that out there and just, you know, tell everybody, you know, keep that in mind when you're doing this, this is not going to be like your standard mini quad build. If, if you're looking for more of that, wait until our Wednesday series, which is going to be the 3D printed version, which is going to be the 3D printed series, which in that one, um, for, for my strategy, I actually have my, my carbon fiber 250 is more of a showpiece, so I, I take that out. And then I use my 3D printed cause as bashes because those are less than a dollar to make. So if you're looking for more of that, go for more of the Wednesday videos. But if you're looking for the hardcore CNC cut, light, efficient, um, go on all out, then stick with this series. So now that I've got some of the reasons on why that, you know, people would want to design and build and some, some of the concerns behind that. Um, so let's get into our real first part of this tutorial, which is going to be how, getting the software installed to be able to design our frame. Okay, so once we're ready to go, uh, open up your favorite web browser. I'm using Google Chrome and you just want to search Autodesk Student AutoCAD. There we go. Okay, so it's going to be the first result. We're going to want to go to our first result and you're just going to see AutoCAD. Uh, we don't want any of these. We only just want AutoCAD. Um, so then you're just going to want to go and create an account. Um, the version that we're going to be using is the um, 2015 version operating system, Windows 64 bit, uh, run 32 if you have four gigabytes of RAM or less and download 64 if you have four gigabytes or more of RAM. And I'm going to be using the English version. So and then all you need to do is just go down and then hit install now. And then you're just going to download and follow the install prompts. Loaded and installed AutoCAD. Um, be sure to download the file, which is in the link in the description down below. And when you open it, you're going to see something that's very similar to this. Um, this is our starting document for getting ready to design and get our frames made. So I'm just gonna go over a brief overview of the document and then I'm going to go and cover some basic AutoCAD features and then um, that's going to be it for the video for today. So on the left side here, we have the um, Apex 250. Now this is the CNC cut frame that um, was shown in the beginning of the video and I might put it up here um, again so that you can see it again. 
Now this is the full version of that frame, so this is the cat files that were then cut out. So um, you can see it's got the folding arms and it's got all of the different mount patterns. So we're going to be learning how to make this and how to make a couple other frames in the, in the series. Um, now, personally, there's a couple things that I would like to change, which we're going to change. So one of the episodes is we're going to go over how to make a better arm file. We're going we're to look at how to make folding arms and you know how, how to really make it so that it all comes together into a really good frame. Now on the right here, we have a 180 style frame. Um, so the same concept as before, however, this one for me, I made it as a 3D printed frame instead of a CNC cut frame, but you can still CNC cut this frame. Um, now, if we go down here to the bottom um, left portion of our frame, we are going to see that we have a good amount of pre-drawn um, formats that we can use. So if we look right here, we have our motor mount pattern that this is going to fit 1806 to 2204 type motors. And to the right of that, we have our standard M3 hole. Um, personally, I only, really, I only like to use one type of bolt throughout all my designs, which is the M3. I find that it's a really good standard, and then you can use different bolts. You can use the same bolts on the same on different frames. So then it's it's really nice because then you only have to worry about buying one type of bolt. Now on the bat on the bottom here, we have our battery strap mount. Now this can be adjusted. So this is going to fit all your standard battery mounts. I've tried uh, battery straps. Sorry, so I've tried the rotor geeks. Um, Lumineers work well and Hobby Kings work well also. Now to the right of that, we're going to see our flight controller mount. So this is going to be for the Maze 32, so anything that has that base to it is going to work just fine. Now on the right here, you're going to see that we have a 4 inch propeller, a 5 inch propeller, and a 6 inch propeller. Now these tools are going to be used so that we can see if um, these are going to hit anything. So if they're going to tap the frame or intersect with anything on the frame. So I'm going to teach you guys how to use these later, but really it's just you like click on it, and then you select move, and then you can move it all around, and then you can you know go up to like an arm, and then be like, okay, I'm going to place this right here, and then see if it intersects with anything on the frame. Let's place that right about there. So now that we have um, gone over the entire document. Uh, I just want to cover a couple of the basics of uh, AutoCAD real quick. So if you look up here towards this toolbar um, up at the top, this is going to be where most of our time is going to be spent, more specifically in this section over here. So we're, we're going to start off with the, um, with the top left quadrant, and we're going to select a polyline. So when we just go down here, and then we can just do a really basic um, type of line, so just, j just to you know get, get used to it. So... We're going to draw a, um, let's say, a 30 millimeter line at a 150 degree angle. So, um, uh, not 30, I'm going to, let's go for a uh, 60. So now, everything here is in millimeters, so we're going to be using the, uh, the metric system. So now we have a 60 millimeter line, and now we can go for an arc. So now, before we do, but before we do our arc, I'm just going to come on down here. I'm going to select our motor mount pattern, hit Control C, come up here, hit Control V. Now there is our motor mount pattern. And what we did was that we just copied it and then we pasted it up towards our arm. So now I'm going to type in rotate into our box. I'm going to select that. I'm going to rotate it so that it matches up and is parallel with our um, line. So now that we have that, we're going to go and then we're going to go boom. Okay, so now that we have our line drawn and our motor mount in there, we're going to do a three position arc, which should be the default. Let's go to the one, and the two, we're just going to curve it around for the three. So now that we have our little mount right there, and then draw the other line down to the bottom, if you hold shift, then we can just bring this up. And then as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, I could definitely, we're definitely going to be able to go through and, you know, go through some of those edges, but you know, it's, it's basic and, um, you know, personally, that's what I like to do is that I outline the frame first, and then I'll go through, and then I'll actually, like, do, like, the whole thing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, and I really am looking forward to continuing the series, and I cannot wait to see what you guys build. Um, link, uh, leave a comment down below what you guys want to see in next week's episode. Um, we could go to um, basics of frame design or um, we could go to arm design. It just depends on what you guys want. So leave a comment down below on what you want me to cover um, for our first real episode. 
And uh, I can't wait to see you guys then. So um, have a good week and um, happy practicing and getting trained.